Hello friends, welcome to my channel Marinex. In today's video, we are going to talk about Windrows and its users. This is one of the most frequently asked questions by the surveys in the second week COC exams. So without wasting any of your time, let's start. So what exactly is a Windrows? The Windrows is a method of graphically presenting the wind conditions, direction and speed over a period of time at a specific location. This means that Windows is a graphical method by which we can represent wind direction, its speed and other conditions for a fixed period of time for a specific location. Now let us see some of more of its features. Windows are shown in red in color on routing charts in the form of a circle having arrows pointing radially towards the center. The arrows fly with the wind and this fact provides the direction of the wind. The length of the arrow indicates the percentage frequency of occurrence on the scale provided on the chart. The thickness of the arrow indicates the wind force. So as you can see this is a picture of a windrose this is the center and from it readily uh, extend the spokes these spokes or the arrows show the direction of the wind so this is as you can see uh, my cursor this is the wind from southerly direction this is from westerly this one small one from easterly direction as you can see these arrows are narrower near the center and as we move readily out the broadness of the arrow increases that means there are more number of calms near the center and then it increases the wind speed increases as you move out now how to find the frequency of occurrence of the arrows or of the wind so as you can see this suddenly wind it has uh, it has ended on uh, between 10 to 12 percent of this circle so it is exactly 11 almost 11 percent you can see this westerly spoke it is in between the 8 percent and the 10 percent so it is almost 9 percent of the occurrence so this is the way how we can find the frequency of occurrence. As you can see, the occurrence is almost 1% in the east-southeast direction. So this is the way by which we can find the direction and speed of wind using wind roses. So this question is mostly asked by the surveyors that how many wind roses in a routing chart? So it's quite simple. Wind roses are found within each 5 degree into 5 degree latitude and longitude. When total number of observation is less than 100, no data is shown. This is the exact picture of a wind rose as we, we see on a routing chart. So this was all about a wind rose. I hope it will help you in answering all the questions regarding a windows from the surveyor. If you like the content of this video, please like the video and subscribe the channel for more upcoming topics.